Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Now we're going to be showing you how we can change our backdrops in a photo and create some composite images as well if you do enjoy doing that. So I've got two images for us to edit today. I've got a model one and a landscape shot for you to look at. So first of all, we're going to be looking at our portrait image of Hannah here. And we're just gonna make sure that, that we are on our background adjustments here. And what we want to be doing is changing this mild gray backdrop into something else. Now, Avoto have got a whole range of different backdrops you for you can apply. So if you want a solid white, it's got a few options here or gray uh, or black. And what Avoto has done, if I just keep it on the white, is it does a brilliant job of cutting out our model. So, so can you see it's kept in quite a, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of hair in there. A lot of these other programs struggle with that. So, so you are keeping a lot um, of the detail and cut out um, of the person here. Now, I quite like the transparency one because often I have to cut out people out of other back, backdrops and stick them into other images. And also if I do any uh, e-commerce product uh, images, this is also a great tool to also use if you're not doing model-based um, photos. But what um, we'd really want to be looking at is a photo I've got a different range of different backdrops that we can also apply behind and what you you but you can also is have different texture ones as much as solid colors so if we wanted to change the backdrop maybe we did shoot it on uh, the wrong color we can easily uh, adjust it so if we wanted a red or we wanted a brown which would probably fit more with this outfit we can but what um, i found really really cool is that you can also upload your own images as a backdrop. So uh, if, if you are into composite images, you, you, you can buy uh, visual artwork off places like uh, Etsy, and then you can upload it into a photo, and it can store up to 100 images for you um, as long as the, the image size is no bigger than, than 10 megabytes, and then you can add those behind just by uh, clicking this square here, and you can upload it there. So what uh, we are also going to be uh, doing is, let's say we have picked this fabric too, um, you can make further adjustments from there. From there. I recommend keeping uh, this, the preserved area as it is here. But what I would do is I'd also keep the fill mode also on stretch fill because if we go to center, center fill, it stretches it a little bit up. And if we do go to center alignment, you end up with a slither of the previous back backdrop also appearing. But what you can do to fix that is you can use the size to ex expand it out. But I just quite like using a stretch fill uh, just so then I know that that previous backdrop is filling the whole image. And if you'd only want a part of it coming through, you can also drop it down. So that gray white backdrop, we actually had it as we just dropped this, this opacity is now starting to come for and I, I, I'm quite liking that look. Um, so I'd be really pleased uh, with that if that was a finished image. Now, moving on to our next photo. Um, I'm a massive landscape for, for, for photographer. I've been doing landscapes for over 10 years and often every photographer wants that, that perfect su sun, sunset. But if I have to do sunsets for a, a client, so maybe property photos or anything like that, and I'm on a tight deadline and the weather is not playing ball, uh, now that I've started using a photo, it's actually helped massively that if we do get a miserable day, I can replace the uh, sky with a more uh, appealing sky just to uh, fix those issues if I've run out of time to, to, to try and get it normally. So we've got a shot of Broadway Tower, which is in the Cotswolds, clo close to where we are based. And if we scroll down to the sky replacement and go recommended, it can come out with all these different options. So, so if we wanted to have more uh, clouds in, it can quickly change. And very again, clever, clever, it's picked out where our subject is and then applied the clouds be, de, be behind nice and easy, easy and you can pick out different ones. Now, if you do want a softer sky, you can put sky blur on just to make it a little bit softer. Uh, you can also adjust the white balance too, so we can bring up um, uh, the, the the ambience as well. And if you want to make it more saturated or brighter, we can also do that. But what was really cool, I thought, 
was if we go back to recommended, we've got the sunset and sunrise skies. And what we can do here is if we click this image here, um, as we had the, that warm tone on the tower already, but the sun was a little bit more over here, so it didn't appear in the photo, we can change uh, to this more uh, stunning sun, sun, sunset backdrop. And it's actually fitted in with the image uh, a lot, lot better. Um, and it's also matched the tones re really well. And again, I can drop the, the opacity to make it a little bit softer, but I quite like this one personally. I think it matches the image re really well well here. And again, you, you can add, add your own sky um, back to soon. So let's say you want to go off and add the Milky Way and you've got a Milky Way shot. You can upload it and then put it, put it into a photo and it can add it be behind. So you can get some really amazing composites there. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Avoto have kindly sponsored it. There is 15% off if you use our discount code in the de de description below. Please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you all in the next video.